Hey everyone, it's the Ionic Guy here, and today's video is going to be a quick one. We're going to be comparing a new contender for coating the rear window on the Ionic 5 against the reigning champion, in my opinion, which is Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions. And this newcomer is called Rain-X Graphene Exterior Detailer, and I will be applying this to the left side of the window and I'll be applying hybrid solutions to the right side where it originally was on the original test. So prior to filming this, I stripped the back window with 90% isopropyl alcohol. Then I went over it with some window cleaner and now I'm applying the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions to the passenger side of the car. So here I am just misting the back window just to see what they look like. And you can see the hybrid solutions is performing just like it did the first time with larger droplets forming and then eventually running off the window. And the uh, graphene doesn't seem to be helping very much. It's, it's causing very small beading similar to traditional Rain-X. As I saw in my previous testing, that just wasn't that beneficial. Having the larger droplets that run off give you a clearer view out the back. You guys can see the uh, Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions is on the right here. And it looks a lot better than the, the new Turtle Wax with graphene that I bought. It's raining fairly hard right now. And you can see it's uh, starting to let up a little bit. Well, that's a pretty significant difference there. It seems like it's a similar phenomenon to with the Rain-X. Where the uh, droplet size is just so much different that one side becomes opaque and the other side stays fairly clear because the droplets are larger. So you can see the difference directly. So I think I'm going to stick with the same product I've been using. I don't think this graphene has provided any significant benefit. Anyway, I know this is just a stopgap solution and what we really need is a rear wiper. And I think Hyundai knows that at this point. So we'll see what happens in the coming model years, but I'm going to keep testing different coatings for those of us who got the 22 model year. and see how those do. So let me know down in the comments what else you would like to see tested. Um, I've got a few other chemicals in mind that I'll be applying over the next few months. Now that we're getting into the summer, heavy rain will be much more regular, so I'll be able to do some more extensive testing with that. But yeah, let me know down below what you'd like to see, any recommendations. And as always, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.